Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Brickenstein here, aka Ken Turner. So in this video, I visit the Bricks by the Sea and they were celebrating their 20 year anniversary. Now this is Atlantic Canada's seasonal Lego showcase and it runs from November 25th to January 6th. And this showcase is held at the Museum of Natural History right here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So we're gonna check out all the displays, including the mocks and sets. So come along as we check things out. Now here is the Citadel mock that you've probably seen on the news and it is huge. I walked around this thing and it's displayed in this very giant case. I think they did a really great job recreating the Citadel shape as well as all the tiny details. Definitely something to see in person. Now in my brick explosion video you may have seen the burger fries and drink mock but here it is again. I especially like the tongue coming out of the burger. Now as we move over you can see the Millennium Falcon and its interior is decorated for the holidays. You can see some pit droids, there's R2-D2 and as we move over we'll see the Aston Martin DB5. This is a set I have to make sometime soon or maybe when the next James Bond movie comes out. And we have Benny's spaceship. This is really fun to see in person. And there's Benny right inside there, as well as this little mech that's on the ground. Now here's that e-tron. I think this is the remote control uh, Lego car, if I'm not mistaken. And here's a little space display with all the spacemen in red, yellow, and white. Really nice to see all this, especially like all the little stories that are being told. And as we move over, we'll see the Ecto-1 along with all the Ghostbusters in their custom display. Definitely going to be building this when the movie comes out. Now here is the firefighter aircraft. Right next to it is Wally, the Beatles yellow submarine. I believe that's the Doctor Who set in the back. There's all the Beatles right down there. Right next to it was the Apollo 11 lunar lander, as well as the space set right there in the back. Nice pairing. And right next to it was the Simpsons house along with all the Simpsons right in the front there as well as Homer's pink car. And right next to it was the friends apartments. So you can see Monica and Rachel's apartment right there and Joey and Chandler's apartment right next to it right there. And then finally there is Central Perk. Central Perk is definitely loaded with lots of things to look at. And at the back of the Simpsons house, you can see Chief Wiggum's police car. Right behind that was Zachary Steinman's mocks. Really nice to see these. They're always very trippy. There's this green one with white trimming. And then there's some more over here and also a present right there in the back. There's some more over here. I think these are some of his latest ones, maybe. And right next to it was Sean McLeod's portrait in Lego and he added a Santa beard. Now in this display you can see Santa on top of the lighthouse set and right next to it is the Titanic times two. One was uh, put together and one was separated so you can see the insides but these were massive. Definitely don't know if I had this set where I would be putting it. Now in another big display was the world map. I think this was slightly modified and right next to it was the Eiffel Tower, right up to the very top of the display. I think this may have been an older version of the Eiffel Tower or was a completely made up mock. Now here we are at the Dreams display. This has all the Dream sets put together. There's the village, and in the back is the shark ship right there, and the Pegasus. Really nice to see all of these together. And there's a fisherman, there's a robot, a mermaid. These are some other mocks. There's a bagpipe nutcracker. There's a guy in a Scottish kilt, and a snowman. And then there's the all-white city, and then surrounding it was all these little stories being displayed. There's a little ice rink, guy on a snowboard, there's some people on bikes, there's a guy with a shovel right there, probably cleaning up all this snow. And this was in this dome display in a 
As I pan across, you can see all the other displays in the background. And then right over here was a whole bunch of different kinds of nutcrackers. There's an actual nutcracker right there. And these were a lot of fun. I think my favorite was the ice nutcracker. And then there's a penguin. Now over here on the back was this big giant city display. You can see the up house on that skyscraper. Over here we had Santa and his reindeer on top of a roof of an apartment building. There's the Hulk on the side of the building. There's a wreath right there. So many minifigures around this ice rink and in this city. And this one also had a working train, which we'll see in a moment. We can see the city tree right there in the middle and the little marketplace. And as we pan over, we see a bit more of the city. There's a little harbor with the lighthouse, some boats, and really nice. There's another Christmas tree and all looks like all the holiday sets are in this little section. And in the back, you can see the Home Alone set with Santa and his reindeer on top of the McAllister house. This was quite overwhelming to see all this together. You can see a gingerbread house in the back. There's a windmill there. There's Woody, the Christmas tree, as well as the oyster. And here comes the train going around the Woody Christmas tree. There's some more sets here like the Daily Bugle. Look at all those pine trees on the ground there. A lot of modulars in the back. There's a little train station. You can see some planes hanging from the ceiling over the city. There's a big yellow Lego truck. There's the train again. There's the boutique hotel. There's a pet store. There's a toy store over there on the right. And there's the train again. Oh, it stopped. There's like a car dealership over there. There's a helicopter. Here comes the train. There's some sports car dealership. There's like a horde of zombies trying to get up that Porsche building. There's a signal tower. And there's a train yard to the far end of the display as well with a whole bunch of different kinds of trains. And then I zoomed out so I can get a nice big view of the whole display and it looked pretty awesome. Really impressive stuff. And I think there was buttons you can press to make the train stop and go and to turn on lights in certain buildings. And they had a table here full of bricks and pieces so people can make their own little characters. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time at this Lego showcase called Bricks by the Sea. I especially liked all the mocks. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!